Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all are doing fine. Today we have some exciting updates regarding the American presence in Iraq and the country's recovery. So let's dive right into it. Today, Sunday, member of the House of Representatives, Mohammed Sadoun al-Sudani, stated that the justifications for the American presence in Iraq are finally over. He emphasized the importance of Iraq's independence and recovery without the interference of foreign forces. Mohammed Sadoun al-Sudani Iraq, amid the major changes that have occurred recently in the region, must live independently, like the rest of the countries. We want to have close relations with neighboring countries and the world. These relations must be built on the basis of mutual respect and non-interference in internal affairs. Foreign and American forces were present in Iraq for a specific reason, and now these justifications have ended. According to al-Sudani, Iraq must focus on its recovery and take on its role without combat forces or foreign aid. He highlights that the country currently does not require combat forces or trainers. Muhammad Sadoun al-Sudani Iraq must recover and take its role away from combat forces, whether the international coalition or American forces. The country currently does not need combat forces, trainers, or any foreign aid. Echoing al-Sudani's sentiments, the representative of the Sadakun parliamentary bloc, Rafiq al-Salhi, accused the American side of supporting terrorism to prolong its military presence in Iraq. He urged the government to announce a timetable for withdrawing these forces. Rafiq al-Salhi, the American side has been supporting terrorism to prolong its stay in Iraq. We demand the government to announce a clear timetable for the withdrawal of these forces. In other news, Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani stated that ISIS no longer poses a threat to the Iraqi state. Consequently, there is no longer a need for the international coalition that was formed to confront these terrorist groups. Mohammad Shia al-Sudani ISIS does not represent a threat to the Iraqi state anymore. Hence, there is no longer a need for the international coalition that was formed to confront these gangs. Turning our attention to the economic scene, Chaos erupted at banks in Baghdad today. Depositors flooded the banks, requesting to withdraw their money in dollars. An official at a Baghdad bank explained this unusual occurrence. Official at Baghdad Bank. Today, citizens attacked all banks in the capital. Baghdad, in an unprecedented manner, due to the recent decision of the central bank to adopt the dinar. The volume of requests made portfolio officials concerned, resulting in a decision to disperse them all at once within one day. To shed light on the chaos at Baghdad's banks, we have a financial expert who will provide some insights. Financial expert. The intensity of requests terrified bank officials. However, foreign currency liquidity is available. Starting today, withdrawals of transfers in dollars will not be facilitated in cash. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you found this update informative. If you enjoyed this content, Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting news and updates. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.